What is going on everybody? We are back walking the same path as I've walked earlier uh, here at Ray Shop here in Florida. Uh, we are taking care of another customer that has a power stroke, except we got just a little bit of power stroke problems, but we're gonna be working on a steel body that is actually pretty tight. I'm gonna explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing. And maybe you wanna follow along and check it out. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Here it is, Steel Body 2016, 2015, I can't remember. But anyway, he has a nice looking truck. Got some American force wheels on here, big old lift. I don't know, we got, uh, we got some bankies or what is this? What is this? Oh, AFE power, okay, 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 okay. But what the customer wants us to do, we're gonna be going around the whole exterior of the truck. We're gonna be placing every single light, the third brake light, we're gonna be placing the tail lights. We have, uh, I see coming from, we're not doing anything with the fog lights. We're gonna be placing the headlights. He wants to keep these. Um, he's gonna to try to rebuild them or whatever, but we're gonna be, oh wow, look, it's a 6.7 in there. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I didn't even notice that. We're gonna be putting Morimoto's in here. I've only done Morimoto's on the Illumiduties uh, front and back, but we're gonna be doing front and back on this steel body. So I guess come along, check out what we're gonna be doing. I do have to replace a body control module. Now, I don't know if you guys wanna see that or what is entailed, but um, uh, we are gonna have to do some programming and, ooh, check out the inside. That's kind of cool. I like that, I like that. Nice job, my friend. When you do a BCM, when you do a BCM, you gotta have both keys. I think he said he had a, a KC on here too. Let's see, get these windows down. Boy, it was cold this morning. Oh my goodness. Hope you guys up in the uh, Detroit area are liking your negative degree tent. <laughs> Oh, all right. We got 73,000 up on here. Oh my gosh, this is where it happens. Pulling in. We're gonna be working on the flat today. I'm not gonna have to do any, any lifting, any liftingness, but I will have to get in the right side door. So I will, uh, have to adjust accordingly. All right, let's go ahead and set this thing down. I think we're gonna start with the, uh, the rear tail lights. These aren't, these aren't too bad to do. Look at all paint match though, that's really cool. I don't know how you guys do these paint match stuff. That is just, seems like such a pain in the butt to do, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter because uh, we're gonna be taking these out and we're not gonna be throwing them out. Open the box. We have this part number, smoked. Um, um, okay, so let's go ahead and take these out. At least we have a shank you, a shank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take the thank you and get this out the way. Let's check out the right, let's take out one at a time. We'll do the right one. Looks like we have a bag of connectors for going into the Morimoto. So let's get this tail light off. Eight millis coming at you. Eight milli. These are, like I said, paint to match. They are pretty sweet. I just wouldn't want to take them apart. 
and have to put them back together. Come on. Release me. There we go. Oh, wow, these got some, got a big old heat sink on it. All right, let's unplug that. And I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it looks like he's got something spliced in. Or made a, its own two pin Deutsch connector. It's kind of weird. I don't know what was going in, going in here, but it's like taped and epoxied and I don't know. Still got some moisture in it. They look pretty sweet. All right, let's inspect these connectors. Looks like we got a bunch of a bunch of T taps here. We had some. Uh, we still have a problem. Probably a, a problem with the body control module. Um, and I think that's what this was right here. Um, so we had to tap into the uh, turn signals up front so that the rears could work, but now we got a new BCM we're gonna be putting in, so we're gonna have that taken care of. Let's, uh, what is that going to? Oh, we need to get some, some pliers on. Uh, here we go. Gonna take these. Ooh, front end of the, Z truck. I like the fine little crimpers or cutters. We're gonna cut this horrible T tap off. I hate using those. We're gonna cut that off and we will heat shrink that so that it's not gonna be exposed to the atmosphere. All right, we need to cover that. We have Ray's little. Kit. I think we're gonna take one of these. Or this, I'm assuming both lights are gonna have this. So we'll put that on there like that. All right, let's see if I can heat this, uh, get this to work. I just had it, there we go. Unfamiliar with the territory. Okay, turn and push. Is it on? Okay, it's on, I feel the heat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give it the little limitless seal here on the end. Boop. All right, cool. Now I don't know exactly what this was going to uh, well, let's pull out the Morimoto light and see what kind of connections we're looking at even behind here. Oh, wow, these are, these are nice. Check them out. I don't know how much these are or how much they were. Very nice. Aftermarket. All right, uh, how many connectors we got here? Looks like we have Two. Two, all right, let's see the connectors that this came with. All right, well, I guess what I'm gonna do, I have, uh, I have these two connectors. If you guys look at the back of the light, I mean, I'm not gonna plug the one wire into the harness that's got three. I'm gonna plug the one that's got three into this one, match the red up with the red and this slides right together. Now this truck was kind of different because it didn't have the factory reverse light connector. But again, I'm doing the one with the one and this would connect to reverse lamp. So since this does not have that, I'm gonna have to do something a little different. Actually, I'm not gonna use that. That's more extension. I'm just gonna plug this right into here. And then the light's gonna work. I already got the hazards blinking, so I could verify the light. But I didn't know how these were gonna hook up. They look all right. But then I wanted to verify the uh, reverse circuit. The black, I'm gonna guess, was ground. So I put the blue with the white tracer. It's kind of jammed a pin in to the back side of the terminal and then 
touched the single together and my reverse light came on when I was in reverse. So I'm gonna actually take the old connector off this light. I'm just gonna use one of the wires and then that will allow me to keep this waterproof connector. I just won't use that wire. So I guess let's get this connected and installed. Okay, Morimoto, sorry buddy, but we're gonna cut you off. I need to get some strippers, some strippers. And I guess let's go ahead and cut this. I'm not going to need this anymore. Leave some, some good meat on there. So now I'll splice that into this, and then we'll have that connector that we had. But this will be like this. All right, let's go and try to... Let's try to cut this. I just need one wire. There we go, come on. Oh, looks like we're not using, we're not using that one. That pulled right out. Let's see, is it gonna be the right one we're gonna need? Oh, talk about lucky dog. Is this gonna pull out or is this good? All right, no, that's good. Wow, that was the luck of the draw there, bud. Okay, get this. Get this like this. All right, that's gonna be our reverse circuit. Clipped in, certified, I like it. Let's go ahead and get this one, strip this one. Come on. There we go. Now I need to attach these two together. And I think I'm gonna use one of these guys if I can successfully open it. I think I should be able to use one of the smallest ones. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see if this goes in here. Oh yeah. All right, we're in. We're in. Now let's see if we can do this together. Ah, okay, there we go. I got it on. All right. All right, now we're gonna melt it. Yeah, it's melted in there. I like it. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. Weatherproofed and everything. All right, well, let's, let's freaking test it out. Reverse, everything's hooked up. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if I want to mess with it. All right. Lights are on. Running lights, I should say, are on. We'll put the camera over here. All right, put it in, uh, we'll put it in reverse. Reverse, all right. You see the reverse lights on. So we got certified circuit. That connection is gonna be good. So uh, I guess really what I'm gonna do now is I'll button all this back up and we'll peel this off together. Um, but I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side and uh, kind of speed this process up because we got the front ones to do too. They on. Well, let's go turn the lights on first and then we'll peel it off. Got Ray over there doing God knows what to freaking 
infinity. Okay, key on. We'll turn the parking lights on. All right. Check it out. Lights are on. It's the best part right here. Taking off the plastic. Ooh. Them puppies are crispy as you know what. All right, driver's side. Check it out. Freaking love it. I love my lights. Those actually don't look half bad. I like the steps in the in the in the in the red part. It looks really cool. I don't know. I've reached out to Morimoto before, and they've never reached back out to me. But I don't know. I can I can dig it. I said uh, we're going to be doing some more. We're going to be doing some more lights. I think he's got something along the license plate uh, license plate frame. Uh, let's dig in some more parts. Well, now that the lights are on. We have another Morimoto part to put on. This is a XTR LED reverse light. I've never, I've never put this on. He said this goes by the license plate. I always love opening new stuff and it's not even mine. Oh, check that out. I don't think I've seen this before. Oh yeah. Oh, we got some. Is this a connector in here? Ah, another T tap. All right, check that out. Not really plug and play. I mean, I guess to a certain extent it is. Oh, I guess we can install that. Okay, so you know what I just realized is I think I think I. Uh, I think this plugs into the tail light where the part I told you I didn't want to take apart. So I don't think I'm going to have to actually wire uh, anything really in except for this. But let me put this on and I guess we'll go, what tail light should we go to? Maybe, maybe I'll just go to the driver tail light. Well, he's got no spare tire, so I guess we could... I guess we could try to just go through this hole here instead of drilling another hole. Let's see what that looks like. I might be able to dig that. Acceptable? Or should we drill another hole? That's the question. What would you do? Uh, I think we'll drill a hole. Even though he doesn't have a spare tire, I guess that wire shouldn't just be sticking through there. All right, let me go get a drill. All right, I'm gonna be uh, using, I don't know what size drill, but this is. I'm gonna go right, right here. You can always go bigger. See if this see if this end fits down in here. Uh maybe. Nope, I gotta go uh maybe a couple size bigger. Alright, bigger we need a bigger drill bit. This uh I don't wanna hog it out with just this one. So let's go the next size up and see what uh, what uh, what we can find. Let's see, where's the where did I put the bits of the drills? All right, let's see. Which one? 
Where did I come from, and where did I go? All right, let me take this out. Put this one back where I got it. Okay, let's get this one, possibly. Possibly. All right, there we go. Tighten that up. We'll run this through. There we go. Let me get these cutters. Let's do a little snippy. All right. Now this should go through. No problem. Feed that puppy all the way down. Get this little rubber piece in. That would be that would be tits. Oh, did it come through on the back side? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it pushed through. I didn't have it engaged. How about we get this? I did it again. All right. Now that we know it goes through, how about we? How about we put the light on? Give it a little slack here. Get the plastic in. There we go. Now it's completely isolated. Now we can put the bolt back through the license plate. Looks like we could maybe use some different license plate fasteners. But these will these will do it. They're holding it in. Alright, we got the wire hanging from the back. I like it. I like it. I guess what we'll do is run this to driver's side tail light. Uh, obviously from, from underneath, but I'll show you where that plugs in where I didn't want to mess with before. Right behind here. Dum dum me, it's the right tail light. Freaking goofball. But I have ran successfully the uh, wire that was coming from the license plate. And remember this, I was like, oh, I don't want to touch this. Well, guess what? This pulls out a little plug and then that plugs in to right there. So now, if we have all this tied in, come back up through here, I'll pull some slack out downstairs, put this tail light back in, just pull some of the slack out right now. Give him enough slack to pull the light out. Put everything down in there. There we go. Lights, camera, action. Sorry, Miss Jackson. All right, let's check out the third brake, not third brake light, the license plate light and the new Morimoto tail light. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the hazards on first and then I'll put it in reverse. Right here are the hazards. Here are the parking lights. And then here is reverse. Check it out. That's pretty cool. I like the light bar on the on the side. I like that it's got the turn signal there too. Oh, that's fancy. Fancy schmancy. Like hey, I'll, Dan, you want to soup up my uh, I can soup up. I can soup up the, the mom cruiser. Yeah. The mom cruiser. That'd be funny. I like the lights. 
I like them. I think that uh, I think it's a good add-on. I like the fact that it doesn't have uh, to have a license plate frame. I don't know if you guys have a license plate frame on your truck or if you're advertising for your selling dealer or uh, whatever, uh, but I don't like that stuff on mine. So, um, all right, well, I'm gonna tie all this these wire up. Um, I really like this bar here. I really like that. I like the turn, so I wonder who makes that. I don't know if that's Putco or if that's, uh, or what that is. I dig it. All right. All right, I guess before we go any further, <laughs> we're gonna be doing some license plate lights. QC, quality control. Morimoto license plate lights. Let's put the bed back up and we'll go back down to the license plate area. Looks like they are the whole housing, so we're gonna be popping out that whole black piece and then putting the new one in. So let me get this situated. All right, just gonna reach, do the old reach around. Pop these out. There's two tabs on each side. You'll feel them with your finger. If you're strong enough, there we go. There's our socket. Where do you have Morimoto ones in here? These are completely different. What's up with that? Let's see. Maybe we're swapping them out just for new ones. Huh. All right. They look the same. I'm gonna put the new one in. Which way is which? I don't think it matters. Put this puppy in here. And then, uh, let me go turn the light on to make sure they work before I before I sink it all the way down. Okay, there's the parking lights. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, this one looks nice and crisp, obviously. They is tight. They is tight. Oh, that's really tight. It doesn't look like I can push it in like halfway or anything. Is that quality control sticker really, really inhibiting my installation? Yeah, that's a, uh, I'm really having a push. I don't think I'm supposed to be pushing that hard. Those ones look kind of tight too. Well, this is some of the stuff you gotta deal with when you, work with aftermarket stuff. I don't know, I just shouldn't, I don't think I should be pushing that hard. Why? Why? What's going on with this? Got that one in. This one? Well, I guess this was a little brittle. That lens did pop in, however, so I don't know what the hell was going on, but nonetheless, I'm gonna have to run to the Ford dealer uh, or the auto store to get a generic uh, Ford license plate socket, but the plastic just kinda, kinda broke right away. 
But like I said, I did get the other one in. It's sitting right here, all fresh and so clean. Uh, I guess let me go to the auto parts store and get another connector. All right, guess we're going inside the bed now. You pull the fat man step out. I don't know if I wanna, I don't wanna do that. Let's get upstairs. I think we're gonna need, uh, what kind of tools are we gonna need? Is that Torx or is that, I can't tell. Let me bring it both. I will tell you it was not pleasurable to get up here. Can I slide this more? Nope, I think that's not. Kind of awkward. Looks like Morimoto third brake light. Only got two screws holding this in. We got no cab lights. We do have sunroof. See if it's gonna pop right off. She popped off. There's our electrical connector. There it is. That's the old one. I don't know who makes this. Ah, this is one of them recons. All right, on this one we have a special harness going to it. Ooh, this is completely crispy. Look at that. That's really neat. All right, let me go ahead and plug this puppy in. Okay, this is gonna plug in here. I like it, I like it. Kinda set that on top of the headliner, I guess, or just inside the cab. I will say it's a big housing in the back. Let's try to get it to sit flush. As long as the holes and stuff line up. I guess that's all that matters. actually have one for my 2020. I haven't said nothing to you guys about it, but it is a OEM part. It is different. Kind of unique. I'm excited to show you guys. I keep forgetting about it. Talking about that meetup, we gotta have a, a meetup coming here in the spring have some eats, have some drinks, do some fellowship. Okay, gap looks good, gap feels good. All right, pop the door open. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm not gonna go hit the brake light, so I'm assuming you guys can all pretend what the brake light is gonna look like. All right, this thing's so freaking tall. It's hard for me to get a uh, get a good view on it. All right, let's look at the new ones. Where'd they go? All right, new boys, open them up. Let's check it out. Don't forget to grab yourself a screwdriver. I tell you guys every video, I use it hundreds of times a day. I feel naked when I don't have one. Okay. Kind of remind me of the Supri ones we installed. Those ones didn't wind up working out so well. I hope these are better. Same kind of packaging and everything. All right, well, I hope these are gonna be, be better. All right, we got this little, little finger, I guess. So this is gonna be sitting in here like this. We got this little finger. I don't think we're gonna be able to go through the mirror. We're just gonna kind of pop this out. All right, 
I see the little tab right in there. Okay, if you guys you can finagle this, let me see if I can show you guys. Let me see if I can have you guys come around here. Check this out. If you go right, where is it? Right. Uh, the phone's blocking, the camera's blocking the, the lighting. Let's, let's shine some light. There we go. There's the tab. See the screwdriver? That's how you need, you need to get PTC screwdrivers. See how I'm doing that? I might even be able to pop the light out just doing this. Did it pop out? All right, so I'm pushing that tab in and I'll just pop this light out. There we go. Okay. That leaves us two of these connectors. We have one up top. Can we get it out? And we have one on the bottom. Try to keep them in the same, same fashion. Okay. Remember, grab your right hand one. This is our right hand one right here. Right here. Right hand one. We go on like this, top one to top one. Bottom one to bottom one. Running light and LED. So we'll have to check that here. Let me jump in really quick and I'll turn them on. Looks like they want you to twist them into the housing. Dang, somebody was getting it, giving it the berries. Can we push this in? Got that one. Let's do this yellow. This yellow. Okay. Guess before we push it in, let's see. See what kind of running light we got. There's our turn signal. Let me put the running light on. Well, that's, that's actually the hazard. All right, running light should be on. Okay, so it went from white to yellow. That's cool, that's cool. All right, and then you should be able to pop that boy in like that. And now you have a Morimoto switchback for your mirrors. All right, I don't have to show you the other side. I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on right now. And I guess we'll do the front because that license plate socket is not gonna be here today. So. All right, to the front of the truck. We're gonna have to take the grill out, get these puppies out. We're gonna have a couple of tennies. Uh, we got a bunch of 10s up here, I think about five of them. Uh, and then he said there's a couple of connectors that we got to disconnect for these uh, grill lights. But uh, I guess let's see what we're going to see because, shoot, I can't even see. Golly. Oh, well, I guess we'll do something like this. I mean, geez Louise. There it isn't. There. Cute. Isn't that cute little place right there? I don't want to see you have like a drag link in there and a adjusting sleeve trying to oh, reef yeah, down no, no, on no, this. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's no, trying to no. ball joint pressing out of there. Oh, Ray, I can't see. <laughs> it's too tall. I don't think, uh... Ugly. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. It's coming apart. I don't think I've worked on... I don't think I've worked on one this big. 
All right, there we go. The, the grill's loose, you've seen it flopping. We have, I'm gonna need to get a stool. I, I literally cannot see. This guy's over here talking Sesame Street. Ah, 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 ah. That? Ah, 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 ah. Okay, now I can see. Okay, where is said connectors? Oh, I see one, okay. Let's pop the bottom of this grill out, support myself so I don't fall. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, wow, this is attached too? Wow, impressive. All right, let's disconnect this, get a little more slack. There we go. This one all the way in too? No, nope, that one's out, all right, great. Take the grill out, all is one piece. Get down before I stumble. Damn, this thing's heavy. Try not to scrape it against the bumper. Oh, wow. This is a heavy dude, man. This is heavy shit. No joke for a grill. Golly. It is. That's a, that added a lot of rigidity to it. Holy crap. Ooh, you know what I noticed? He's also got some cab mounts done. Have you guys changed out your cab mounts on your Super Duty? Um, I know a lot of guys have done the steel body ones um, more so because when the front mounts go, that causes this core support to tweak. Guess what's mounted to the core support? The radiator. So if this is flexing, that means this is gonna flex and those end tanks are gonna have unnecessary stress on it. So if you're, constant, if you're constantly going through radiators, you might want to check your cab mounts just for shits and gits. Let me get the stool out of here. Okay, we got right there. One, two, three, and four. We got four tens. Once the bolts are out, just grab the headlight. There's a clip right in here. There we go. Oh, wow. 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 We got a lot going on in here. I don't know. Looking a little, uh, looking a little too sophisticated here. Just what in... HE double hockey sticks is going on. Man almighty. I don't know what's going where. I'm just gonna start disconnecting shit. Where's this thing? I haven't even plugged in. Okay. What in the. Uh... What? And uh, at least we got some good connectors on here. Uh, we'll give them that. Holy, holy heck. That's a little, that's a bit much. Well, it's definitely not gonna plug in to what we already have. We're gonna need to take this ballast off. He's got looks like some HID ballast stuff in here, and it's I'm not going to require us to move this. I don't think my screwdriver is going to get this out. Nope. Ballast coming out. I can't believe how much stuff this thing had on it. So I've tapped right into the core support. Come on, come on, come on. Come on.
Alright, let's try this again. You would think for a self-tapping screw they would have came out by now. Buddy? It better not be. Because there's no way to get really behind it. Oh my god, the bastard wasn't even a freaking self tapper. Look at this. Uh. Alright, so now that's freaking done. We have a whole bunch of wires, and now it just cost me a glove. Why? Why? Get out of here. HIDs are gone. Forget you, man. Forget you, man. All right, we need to clean all this, all this stuff up. What do we got? We got wires going all over the place. Ooh, we got some corrosion in here. We got all types of stuff going on. All I know is we're gonna need some zip cutties. Some zip cutties. Chop it up. Chop, 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 chop it up. There's some other wires up here that's not usually supposed to be along the core support. That's HID, and I got HID here. Why is this so hard to pull up? Oh, there we go. All right, HID, I don't know what this is. Wow, what a mess. Let me get this all cleaned up. This is driving me nuts. We have a lot going on, obviously, these were supposed to be in this harness here and we have uh what looks like these are supposed to be together possibly or 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 these are supposed to be together or these are supposed to be together right here because that that yellow goes together and we got some weird stuff going on. All right, that's going to the marker light. And this is going to the headlight. And then this is supposed to be cobbled together for, um, I'm going to say, the running light. Let me get the new headlight up here and see what kind of connections we're looking at. All right, wow. We have some really fancy lights. And it appears as though we have our headlight connector, or our headlight connector, then our turn signal connector, our running light, and then looks like they leave you one little connector for here that you're gonna hook up this harness to uh, right here and hook this to uh, a fuse that goes to the fuse box. Okay, we're gonna have to find the circuits, the correct circuits for this because we need to take these two connectors out and make it one again. So that's gonna be a minute. Here's the finished product. Uh, trying to make this look as factory as I can, but you saw all the connectors. Now we have three factory connectors that are gonna hook up to our Morimoto headlight, but I'm gonna tape all this up so we don't see any of the blue uh, butt connectors. The customer brought us uh, some connectors for uh, the headlight turn signal connector um, but we do not have one for the headlight I'm gonna put some dielectric grease in here and hope for the best but this is it right here after I get this done taped up I'm going to uh, repeat this whole process for the passenger side
Okay, it's all taped up. That's about as factory as I'm gonna get. I am going to loosely install the headlight housing in here. Grab this harness that I showed you guys earlier, where to go? And I'm gonna loosely install this onto the truck and then I'm gonna hook this up to the headlight housing. Repeat all of this for step two on the passenger side and then fully install both these lights and the grill back into the Super Duty. We've got lighting going on. Even the module that controls all that we're gonna be putting in on this truck. So bear with me, I know this is a long video, but uh, shortly you're gonna see both headlights on. All right, headlight coming at you. We're gonna try to be as careful as we can. All right, so we have, let's see, this the headlight connector. Okay. Uh, where is this one? We have the turn signal connector, and then we have the marker light, and then we have the, I'm assuming the C-ring output of this. Everything's plugged in. I'm move this plastic a little bit. There we go. The headlight is in. Oh, plastic caught. There we go. Plastic not caught. All right, you guys want to see me turn it on? I mean, obviously you. That's what you guys are waiting for. Let me uh, let me open the door. Now I'll just turn the light on. Ah, oh, cool. Cool, headlight. Oh, nice, nice. We take the plastic off. I'll just peel it down a little. Oh, plastic still caught. Okay, plastic not caught anymore. Looks pretty good. Maybe turn signal? Now the turn signal might not work because we still have to put the body control module in, yep. So we actually had uh, a circuit that went from the back of the vehicle that tapped in to the rear turn signal so that these would, these would operate, so. All right, well, let me get uh, this bolted in, and then uh, we're gonna have both of them on. There it is. Everything's back on, headlights are on. I like to give the customer the time to peel those off. I know I peeled the back ones off, but these front ones are like the crown jewels of the front of the truck. I'm gonna let him pull them off. I did not take these all the way off, so he is gonna be the one that's gonna be pulling them off for the first time. We have one thing I gotta hook up to the battery junction box. That's gonna go right down here. We have a couple of circuits that we're gonna have to tend to because this guy uh, had to wire in some hookups for his turn signals for the rear. So I'm gonna try to do him a solid and go through and try to find that wire and pull that all out. Hey, PMF, baby. Uh, you can see I got a little piece of it hanging right here. So I'm gonna get that going. I have to, let me get that going. I have to move this so that we can get the Infinity G37S out of the stall. We got some, uh, some things we're gonna need to do, road test and deliver it to the customer. Further ado, uh, we got just a small bit of wiring and then it's BCM time. See. Time to start. So we're running out of we're running out of shop space, parking lot space. There we go. Ooh, smells spicy. Okay. Ah! Ah! 
Well, there's the final, the final product. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm like really aggravated right now. And, um, you know, a lot of, uh, what had happened today with, with programming the body control module, mm, it was a real pain in the arse. If you guys have been following along, you know what is needed to happen in order to program this body control module. It did not go as I had anticipated. There's things I could not control. And I'm still not being able to control. And it was just, I have spent, so I got done doing what you guys last saw. Um, it has probably been four and a half, probably five hours since I finished the headlights. And I've been trying to program and install and configure and do all this rigmarole for the body control module. <sighs> I still have to program the tire sensors. My tire training tool won't work, so we have to buy a, a tire training tool that is gonna work. Um, I have uh, another vehicle here to look at, a 2019 and a 2013, which I have to replace the body control module on that. It's just, uh, I think the time that I come down here is gonna have to be longer. I'm getting pulled in 200 directions, and I can only be in one at the current place and time and I think a lot of it has to do that maybe the sustenance intake that I have not prepared for myself today is probably a good reason why I feel the way I feel so don't uh, don't take this uh, tone or the ending of this video as it's uh, negative I'm, I'm just aggravated you guys know when things at the shop don't go the way you want it to it's been setback after setback after setback and on top of having a time crunch and the multiple vehicles to look at, it's just uh, the sustenance was not there for me to properly intake all of that information. So I'm on to the next thing that I can at least look at and continue forward. Whew. I'm excited to eat something. Uh, I hope you guys followed all the way through this video. Tell me what you think about the headlights. Tell me what you thought about the 20... 14 i'm sorry 2014 super duty that we just did all the lighting to um they wound up being pretty slick uh there's some some programming sequences that we're going to need to take care of for the fast flash um but working through that right now with uh some four scan ingenuity so tell me what you guys think in the comment section below remember to like comment sub share and i guarantee you there's going to be another super duty and another super duty and another super duty coming my way it might even be yours see you guys